You may not know that St. John the Baptist was actually born without original sin. Wait a minute, you might ask. I thought Jesus and Mary were the only ones never to have had original sin. And you'd be right. Neither were conceived with original sin, nor did they personally sin. Jesus was sinless by divine nature. Mary was sinless by privilege of pervenient grace. The key question with John is, when was he freed from original sin? Unlike Jesus and Mary, St. John the Baptist was conceived with original sin. But evidence abounds in scripture and tradition, affirming that God sanctified John before his birth to prepare the future Baptist for his later mission as the last and greatest prophet. The Catholic Encyclopedia states as such, The soul of the precursor was not preserved immaculate at its union with the body, but was sanctified either shortly after conception from a previous state of sin, or through the presence of Jesus at the visitation. But where in the Bible can we find such proof? The Gospel of Luke provides the clearest evidence. In announcing John's forthcoming birth to his father, the angel Gabriel tells Zechariah, he will be filled with the Holy Spirit while yet in his mother's womb. Later, when St. Mary visits St. Elizabeth, Luke narrates, When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Popes such as Innocent III, and theologians such as St. Augustine and St. Thomas Aquinas, recognize the moment the unborn John leaped in the presence of the unborn Christ as the Baptist's unmerited reception of grace. Aquinas even makes the case that the infant John's sanctification provides support for infant baptism. Although the timing of John's justification has never been dogmatically defined, his pre-birth holiness has been affirmed as a doctrine of faith. In 1894, Pope Leo XIII, in an encyclical reflecting on the rosary, explicitly taught, Then St. John the Baptist, by a singular privilege, is sanctified in his mother's womb, and favored with special graces that he might prepare the way of the Lord. And this comes to pass by the greeting of Mary, who had been inspired to visit her cousin. Because John was already a saint at birth, and in light of his important mission and martyrdom for Christ, his birthday, June 24th, is one of only three birthdays celebrated on the church's liturgical calendar, the other two being Jesus on December 25th and Mary on September 8th. St. John the Baptist's entire life was one of exemplary holiness.